Right, we are back once again with Kerbal Space Program 2, and yes, we have just saw the real flight test of Starship, and it was a success, and it was also a failure all at the same time. Yes, it got a lot further than the first test, and I think the team can really appreciate the effort um, that went into this next flight, because it got a lot further and a lot better results. Obviously, it made it through the stage separation, max Q, all of that. It was on tra 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 trajectory, on track to actually fulfill the flight, most of it. But, obviously, due to un un um, unforeseen circumstances, shall we say, they had to terminate both the booster and the starship, which was unfortunate. But... Here we are in KSP2 once again to try and recreate Starship, the flight test, and uh, see how it goes. Now, I tried to add some, you know, black onto it, and I thought, oh, that looks fairly cool. But in the end, I ended up scrapping that because it does look a little bit weird once we get the booster fixed. So, here we go. There is the Starship. It's just simply six engines. Two bigger ones to make it look like a vacuum, uh, three bigger ones to make it look like a vacuum, and three a sea level sort of design. I got the wings as close as the original as I could. And now in the middle here, I wanted to see sort of, I wanted to design the hot staging ring sort of thing. So I tried my best here. I just put some parts in between. So some, um, some RCS thrusters. RCS fuel, some, um, what do you call it, what do you call them things that control, the reaction wheels, that's the one. So I put some reaction wheels in and stuff like that. And obviously the, um, what do you call it, the probe core, there we go. And there, there's the booster. Now, proportionally, it looks fairly good and I got the grid fins on and in place i wish it was the big square ones that they've got now as well but obviously we can't have everything we can't have everything but going for the booster design here we just went for the vacuum engine uh what do you call them i can't remember the name of these engines i can't remember the name of them but anyway the ksp2 doing ksp2 things it was being a bit weird when I corrected them, seeing that I had no thruster weight. Like, less than a tenth of the thruster weight needed. And then I put the engines back on, and what do you know, we're over one again. So, yeah, I don't know. We Some weird little bugs you've got to get used to when you play a KSP too. But anyway, there we go with our design. We've saved it, and here we go for our first launch of Starship. Flight test number two in KSP2. And lift off, lift off. What is wrong with my English? And we've cleared the tower and turned into a wobble monster. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I thought this was funny, so I thought I'd leave this in. This first test, yeah, really did not go well. It just turned into a wobble machine. I clearly forgot to strut everything, didn't I? And yeah, this this is what could have happened in the first test, really. You never know, this is actually what I expected to happen in the first test. But anyway, to the real launch here. There we go, blast off, and away we go. Clear of the tower. Listen to the engines roar. The plume isn't quite as big as the real plume, but, uh, you know, it can be forgiven. So I'm going to speed this up just a little bit, because, you know, if you watch this at one time speed, it does take a while, and I think you guys rather the shorter form content than the longer form stuff. So you know, we'll just keep it at that. So the grid fins, grid fins are doing a really good job of actually keeping this in line. We're just going up here. I went to about 700 meters per second delta V in the second in the first stage before I separated. Now I didn't set up any action groups or anything, so I couldn't really do hot staging. So I decided to just cut cut the throttle, 
regain the throttle and stage. There we go. So it's sort of a hot stage. But anyway, back with the booster now. We'll just sort out the booster first. That's why I did a little bit of a quick save. So we can get the booster to do a boost back burn. Now, we're not going to follow the real flight, what happened. Because there's no way to terminate these things in KSP2. So I'm just sort of doing what should have been on this mission. But we do have our own little failure. Now... I'm not going to do any spoilers, but both these stages have a little bit of a failure, and you will see. But anyway, if you're new to the channel and you like this sort of content, you want to see some regular Kerbal stuff, some fly out hopefully soon, and some other stuff, then do let me know. Uh, subscribe, leave a like, and comment down below what you would like to see. And if you reckon the next flight will actually be full full success but yeah there we go the booster was a total loss yeah we did not have enough fuel in I thought actually I think I overpowered the boost back burn just a little bit I overcooked it a bit but never mind and I could have separated earlier because the upper stage actually has a lot more fuel than I thought going into this so yeah, as you can see, we have got quite a lot of fuel at this stage. I don't know why it fluctuates like that. I don't I don't know why I question anything in Kerbal Space Program 2. But anyway, here we go. We've got all six engines running. We are getting ourselves up into a semi-orbit, which is what I'm trying to do. But I end up actually getting into a little bit of an orbit and having to do a retro burn. But let's not tell SpaceX that. I just burned a little bit too far. It's a shame it doesn't have automated flights like in Juno this. Like, you know how you have Vizzy in Juno New Origins? Yeah, that would be pretty cool for something like this in Color Space Program 2. Maybe there's a Mech Jeb mod. I haven't even looked at the mods since release. Oops, I've just bumped the mic. I hope that wasn't terrible. Anyway, I'm just waffling on here. So yeah, we get ourselves into an orbit. Here just by circularizing a little bit. I turned off the main big engines, the main vacuum engines, and we're just down to the sea level engines. Apologies, I've just yawned, and yeah, it's very late when I make this video, so that's understandable. I'll be, I'll forgive myself. <laughs> and here's where we make a big mistake. So I go retrograde. I'm not thinking anything of it, okay? Yeah, not thinking anything of it. Yeah, all right, okay. We'll just get this down a little bit more. There we go. 60 meters per second. Eh, uh, what am I talking about? 60 kilometers. Should be fine. Get some nice views here without the UI. Get some screenshots. I think, right, we'll just start time warping. Yeah. Get ourselves pointed Prograde, yep, keep it at that. We're already coming in the atmosphere. Let's just uh, spin it around as well. Yep, all the joys of these things using controls and stuff. We'll go at 45 degrees and we ran out of electrical power. Yep, we've got total loss of control of this vehicle. And look at the Delta V, we could have had a really nice soft landing in the sea. Ah, uh, don't you hate to see it? So yeah, we were just totally lost of control. So if we had a flight termination system, that is a part that should be added to KSP2. Can we get that added? Can it, someone create a mod? But anyway, we eventually get ourselves slow down enough where we enter the atmosphere and get a collision with Kerbin. Unfortunately, it had to be in the dark side, didn't it? There's nothing much I can do about that. It kind of chose its own course there. I had to do about five orbits before we eventually decayed enough to come in. I don't know why. This thing would have major drag. I don't know what was going on. Maybe it's because of the time warp. I don't know. But there we go. Coming in. Hopefully it's not on someone's house. I think it's just in a little mountain range here. So nobody is going to get hurt. And there we go, the debris bouncing down the hill. 
and smashing into a million pieces. So, in the end, we did end up recreating the actual flight too. Just in a little bit of a different way. But anyway, thanks very much for watching this one. I'll see you in the next one, guys.